Hi, everybody. All right, we're continuing the reconstruction tour. And in the last video, we finished uh, securing back up the right wing. In this video, so we've, we've already started putting some of the panels back in. You can see the control column covers are back on in the front where your shins are. I didn't get that on video. I apologize for that. That was my bad. So now we just got to put on the uh, seat covers and all of that. And there you saw me getting deep down in there with a bottle of uh, spray cleaner and some towels. Since I'm not hoping to have to go back in here for a while, I wanted to make sure it was clean. There you, you see me clean it up. Uh, that way also, if there's any leaks or anything weird, you start off with a nice clean plane, then it'll be very obvious. So the little number eight screws you see me working with here, these are the ones I tell you about that you might as well just go ahead and get a bag of like 200 of them. That'll last you a good long time because you'll have to take this stuff off eventually or probably more than you'd like to. But that should last you like 20 years. All right. Well, a couple other things that we've done. I don't know if I've highlighted. If you look to the left side there, you can see the little pouch that has the airworthiness within a certificate and registration. I stuck that to the side with some couple of heavy pieces of Velcro. Not that I ever need to take it out. I'll need to, I'll need to take it out in three years so I can get my registration out. Well, I don't know. I, I put on Velcro just so I could rip it off and show it to people. That's that's all it really is. Plus, I mean, no, well, that's not necessarily true. Look, when I fly this thing to Oshkosh, when I leave the plane at the camping, it's not that I don't trust you people. It's not you people I'm worried about. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's people in general. They suck, and they're like, oh, I'll just take that. So, yeah. If you meet me next year at Oshkosh, just know somewhere on me is my registration <laughs> and everything a certificate. All right, a couple other things. So we've uh, we've gone and we've added some white carbon fiber vinyl to the uh, to the cover that covers up the uh, circuit breaker panel. Before I just painted it that nice neutral gray, and it looks good and all, but I I really like to have that white ring. Uh, I'm gonna put some more decals on the side, and I think that looks good. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice is the I also put white carbon fiber around the piece of aluminum that covers well actually, actually that's carbon fiber now the the carbon fiber that covers around the uh, fuel valve how ironic is that I've put white carbon fiber vinyl over regular carbon fiber I just I really like the look it's all the same right it's it's a nice it's got a nice flow like an accent stripe coming down from the center of that white panel as well uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to put that piece of carpet in either. So there, there's a piece of carpet that goes across the top of the fuel valve, and then it overlaps and goes down the sides of the uh, center tunnel. And that's all well and good, but one thing that uh, one thing that Dar pointed out is, you know, you've got the hardware for the rudder cables right there next to the tunnel, and that's you know, and it, and you've got you've got cotter pins, you've got nuts, and it's going to rub that carpet. Well, rubbing the carpet's one thing. Accidentally getting caught on the carpet is another. And I thought, you know, for public safety, I might just leave that piece off. We'll, but we'll see. So, again, we're just in a holding pattern. If you look to the right side of the panel, you'll see where the EFI controller used to be. Uh, been going back and forth with the owner of the company. Unfortunately, he, he was in Reno at the air races last week. When you make the best EFI system around, people are going to want it. So he's he, the man's busy. All right, so here we go. This is the thing that I've really been avoiding forever. The last trip to the damned tail cone. Uh, just double checking to make sure all the torque striping is good, making sure the jam nut back there is good and torque striped and everything's happy and we're pleased. And man, getting out of that thing was just a pain. An absolute pain but with that done we can now uh, there we go it's time to seal up the door to hell demons gone <laughs> go away hopefully also that will never have to get opened again all right in the next video we're gonna keep on with uh, prepping her to fly so thank you for joining me everyone see you soon